we talk about microorganisms our mind generally tends to go to the fact that they cause a lot of diseases in us humans in plants and in other animals like cows dogs and cats but something that is not often talked about is the fact that there are a lot of microorganisms in our environment that are actually beneficial to us a very common example is the gut bacteria the good gut bacteria that exist in your digestive tract that are helping you digest food and to absorb vitamins like that there are microbes that are used in the industries to produce a lot of useful substances and that's what we're going to be taking a look at in this video we'll take a look at some of the substances produced using microorganisms like food and beverages medicines and pharmaceuticals enzymes and bioactive molecules and chemicals now something that you have to remember here is that these products are not produced at a small scale laboratory level using petri dishes or beakers these are produced at industrial level at a large scale level where these organisms are grown or cultured in tankers known as bioreactors now these bioreactors are huge tankers in which these microorganisms are grown along with their substrate under specific favorable conditions and the products that are produced are then extracted and purified from these bioreactors first we'll start with the food and beverages that are produced using microbes what do you think is common between alcoholic beverages curd or yogurt cheese and bread quite an eclectic meal i have here think for a minute if you have guessed the fact that these are all fermentation products then you're absolutely right fermentation as you can remember is the process of anaerobic respiration the process by which a lot of bacteria and fungi they respire to produce atp in the process they give out ethanol which is what is needed for alcoholic beverages lactic acid which is what produces curd or yogurt and carbon dioxide which is needed to produce cheese and bread so all of these are fermentation products what are some microorganisms that are used to produce these food stuffs saccharomyces which is a species of yeast is the most common type of microorganism used to produce alcoholic beverages like wine and beer Lactobacilli is a lactic acid bacterium that is used to produce curd, yogurt, sauerkraut and kimchi. Brachybacterium is a type of bacterium that is generally used to produce cheese. Now there are not just these but several other species of bacteria and fungi that are used in these industries like lactobacillus and zymomonas for alcoholic beverages, bifidobacterium and leuconostoc for curd or yogurt. saccharomyces penicillium and lactobacillus to produce cheese and bread as well next we'll take a look at microbes in the medicine and pharmaceutical industry which is quite an important industry because it produces a lot of useful beneficial substances that are used to treat a lot of diseases first we'll start with antibiotics which i think is ironic because we are using microbes to produce something which is the antibiotic which in turn can kill a lot of microbes Antibiotics are generally extracted from fungal species. Penicillium was the first species from which the first antibiotic penicillin was extracted by Alexander Fleming. Apart from penicillium, Cephalosporium, Aspergillus and Streptomyces are some other species from which antibiotics like Cephalosporin are extracted. Vaccines are another important component of the medicine and pharmaceutical industry so they have an attenuated or a weakened form of the pathogen that causes a disease some of the pathogens that are used to produce vaccines are mycobacterium and streptococcus and when these weakened bacterium enter our body an immune response is triggered which remembers these bacterium and then it helps prevent the future infections Immunosuppressants are drugs that are given to transplant patients to make sure that their immune system does not reject the transplanted organ even if the donor say a liver or a kidney even if the donor is a close relative of the patient the immune system is still going to recognize the transplanted organ as foreign and is going to mount an immune attack on it to make sure that the immune system does not reject the transplanted organ the patients are needed to take immunosuppressants and a lot of these immunosuppressants are produced using microbes like streptomyces and trichoderma cholesterol drugs are another type of drugs that are produced using microbes 
cholesterol if the level increases in our body that's going to cause a lot of problems like the blockage of arteries and other blood vessels that is going to affect the blood flow statins are the drugs that are used to lower cholesterol in our body and monascus is a main species from which these statins are extracted next we'll move on to the microbes that are used to produce enzymes and bioactive molecules first of all what are bioactive molecules so bioactive molecules are nothing but substances that have an effect on living organisms and where do we use these bioactive molecules in our day to day life we'll take a look at that first we'll start with enzymes where do we use enzymes in our day to day life the image that you see here contains a detergent are enzymes present in detergents the answer is yes you see a lot of stains that are in utensils and on our clothes are made up of lipids and enzymes like lipases that break down lipids are often found in detergents to remove those stains proteases are enzymes that break down proteins and proteases are often used in the manufacturing of juice to clear the juice to make sure that the juice is not cloudy and it is clear to drink proteases are used Cellulase is used in the paper industry to make paper. Bacillus is an organism that is used to produce lipase. Aspergillus is used to extract protease and Pseudomonas is used to extract cellulase. Secondary metabolites are substances that are produced by organisms that are not really useful to them, but we have a lot of use for those secondary metabolites. For example, the microorganism Streptomyces produces the secondary metabolite Casugamycin, which is used as a biopesticide in a lot of regions around the world. Vitamins are extremely important for the proper functioning of our body. A lot of microorganisms like Lactobacillus, E. coli and Saccharomyces are used to produce vitamin supplements that a lot of us often take like vitamin B12 and vitamin D. Finally, we'll take a look at microbes in the chemical industry. By, by chemicals, I mean a lot of organic chemicals like acetic acid. Acetic acid or vinegar is commonly produced using Acetobacter and Gluconoacetobacter and this vinegar is usually used in cooking mainly. Citric acid which is a common component of juices like Fanta or Sprite. Citric acid is produced using Aspergillus and Candida species. Plant hormones are also something that is produced using microbes. For example, Gibberella species of fungus produces gibberellic acid which is a plant hormone that causes stem elongation or growth in plants. So from these uh, species of fungi, the gibberellic acid is extracted and sprayed over plants to increase their growth. We learnt about this in class 11 if you remember when we talked about plant hormones. So these are some examples of beneficial microorganisms that are used in different industries to produce products that are useful to us.